Welcome back to my garden. Actually, before I go any further, I suppose I should apologize in advance. I'm not sure when you're going to see this video. I've run into one of my uh, occasional mm -hmm. technical problems. On this occasion, it's not the computer that is broken, but the keyboard. Uh, just totally unresponsive to any sort of typing. Um, and until I can get myself to a shop that sells keyboards, certainly something that we don't have here in our little village, well, uh, there's going to be no publishing of videos. But never mind, I thought I'd film it all the same. Uh, because we must keep on going. The show must go on. Um, it's a sort of productivity mantra, and that's what I'm talking about today. I, I've kind of been talking around the theme recently, and this whole, it's a thorny issue. Um, so on the one hand, you know, who, how, could we possibly uh, object to the idea that we need to be as productive as possible, that being productive is a good thing? But there's this question of the pursuit of productivity, in a way, may be a, a thing standing uh, as an obstacle. Um, becomes almost a, a sort of excuse for not actually being productive. Um, and then watching an interview with Mo Gaudat, Google XX CEO and uh, a, a leader of a world happiness project, a pursuit of a, a billion happy people across the globe. Um, and he was doing an interview that I saw recently with, um, I don't think it's a recent interview, but I saw it only recently with um, one of these internet podcaster uh, folk who, who frequently skirts around the topic of productivity. Um, and he makes the point that Mo, that uh, the secret to happiness, a uh, sort of core idea in his book, is that it's uh, happiness is reality minus expectations. So if we dampen our expectations, if we expect very little, well, that's a recipe for happiness. Um, but there's a price to be paid, and Mo points it out in this interview, where, you know, if you really follow that line of reason, the price is perhaps mediocrity. That uh, expecting very little uh, potentially may lead to delivering very little and a, um, a life that is in some sense diminished. And where would we be if everyone was just satisfied with how things are? Uh, do we need relentless progress or, or things like that? Well, maybe not, but um, humanity develops by people making some sort of progress, resolving problems, solving problems, um, moving their and other people's lives forward in, in helpful sorts of ways. And my, my late friend Mike and I, we would often discuss this um, conundrum uh, over a, a quiet beer or two, where a lot of folk here, where we live, um, seem to be very happy. Uh, and that's a good thing. You know, why are we torturing ourselves when, you know, just accepting how things are may be the solution? And I was thinking about this today because I received the sad news of a friend of mine who who passed away and without going into an enormous amount of detail the truth of the matter is he he was around about my age I, I'm not sure if he was younger or old I think a bit younger than me um, and there's a reason why he passed away because he frankly didn't lead a very healthy lifestyle. You can, you can probably guess the sorts of things that he might have been doing that didn't do him very much good and, and led to 
sadly, a, a shorter life than needed to be the case. Uh, and he was accepting of that. But I don't think he was happy to be, you know, if I'm being really, really honest. I don't think he was happy at all. And I, I've been thinking about this whole question. It, it strikes me that the real problem in a, in a lot of these debates about the question of happiness or productivity or, or the habits that we have, or, a, a lot of these topics, the real problem is that we conflate two ideas. We're talking about um, productivity, for example, but actually what a lot of these folk on the internet are discussing is success, and a specific kind of success. Not the, the sort of um, lifelong, ongoing, uh, striving for uh, mastery, which, which I'm all in favour of and I've spoken about quite a lot, but a much more concrete, tangible sort of success, whether it's uh, material possessions or um, quantifiable accomplishments, let's call it that. And a lot of folk, when they're talking about productivity, what they're really talking about is how to get more stuff or achieve more accolades. Um, or generate a, a product. Sorry, I just got distracted by a fascinating bird, black and white, that I haven't seen here before. Um, now that's success for me right there. Today is, is immediately um, chalked up as a, a massive win. Um, but back to the success that these YouTubers are talking about. Um, I don't think they're talking about seeing a beautiful new bird in your garden. Uh, a, an amazing chance encounter. That is not what they're talking about. Um, and I think that is what we need to strive towards. Um, and I suppose, how can I sum all this up? I would sum it up by saying what we're looking for um, is making the best use of our time possible. And again, I'm thinking of my friend who passed away. You know, We have a limited innings. Uh, don't waste it. At the end of a day, look back at how you spent that day and ask yourself, did you spend it well? A sunset or a hummingbird, well, that is a fantastic use of your time. So is finishing making a film or editing something or uh, putting bread on the table. You know, I mean, there's a, there's a whole host of things that are good uses of your time and a deeper understanding of yourself will perhaps help, help you decide what those things are. Um, and I think we need to work towards doing more of that. So that's it this week. I'm going to cut this one short because I want to get a closer look at that bird if possible. Or at the very least, let my lovely wife Rita know and, and uh, see if she can see it too. So until next week, trust you well, whenever next week is. And uh, until then, ciao.